Hello, Pisces. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your time, that I do. Definitely wanna thank you for all your likes, all your subscribes, my friends. Appreciate them all. And definitely big shout out and thank you to all my Pisces that have blessed me with donations. Many of you. So very kind of you, my friends. I appreciate them all. Or just small. Pisces, if you have ever blessed me with a donation, thank you. Big shout out. Thank you to all my Ramblin' Nation members. Mwah, I love you guys. Thank you for your continued support month after month. If you've been considering becoming a member of Ramblin' Nation, we'd, we'd love to have you over there. We got live tarot parties every Wednesday night, live tarot parties every Saturday night. And then when I go out in nature, I always do behind the scenes for Rambler Nation, show them how we set up and how we get these shots and all that fun stuff. And I always play cards with them too. So it's almost kind of a daily. Anyway, if you've been thinking about becoming a member of Rambler Nation, we would absolutely love to have you. The, the join button is right beside the subscription button. If it's not there on your device, there's always a link in the description area of all my videos going to take you to that membership page. I'll see many of you Wednesday nights, Saturday nights, and behind the scenes. All right. I got a big announcement to make. Party time. I got a meet and greet coming up November 6th in beautiful Palm Coast, Florida. I'm gonna have a big party. All my readers from Divinely Love Tarot are gonna be there. A very special friend of mine, Bat Batty from Battison Intuitive Tarot. She's gonna be there reading cards with us. Of course, I'm gonna be there. Lots of door prizes, dinner, drinks. It's a big bash, it's a big tarot bash. Definitely don't wanna miss it. There's a link in the description of my YouTube video, this one. It's gonna take you right over there and show you everything, show you the big bash that we got going on. November 6th, time to, time to plan and put everything together. November 6th, Battison from Intuitive Tarot is gonna be there. All six of my readers from DivinelyLoveTarot.com are going to be there. You can go over there and get a reading today if you want. These, these people are amazing. My readers are amazing. Also, you can find a link over here at DivinelyLoveTarot.com for the, for the meet and greet. Also, Battison is putting up the link for the party. We're going to have a big tarot party. I want to let you know about it. I will see you in November. <laughs> hey, all right. Thanks for giving me a minute, Pisces. Appreciate it. Hope to see you at one of my parties I'm throwing. Hey, hey. It, it is. It's tarot time. It's potty time. Here we go. Let's, ooh, the potty time. Potty, potty. What's going on here, Pisces? I feel good shaking your cards around. Two swords showed up right there. That's somebody that was in the land of indecision. They may have figured it out. Let's see. Let's see. Let's tune in. Hey, Tarot, we love Team Pisces is here to play with us today. <laughs> somebody watching you, man. Here we go, man. That's the Princess of Swords. Back to my invocation. Hey, Tarot, love Team Pisces is here to play with us today. Tell them what they need to know most of the highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help Pisces see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Pisces' highest good. Thank you so very much for that love team. Can't do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. All right, Pisces, let's throw you a Celtic cross right here throw out some witch's tarot to clarify some of it some love cards a couple major arcana thank you source let's do it pisces love here we go cutting the deck what do we got bottom of the deck pisces here we go it's the emperor <laughs> the emperor is showing up here you know 
Aries seated in their power. I like the emperor. They get up and make things happen. Could be divine masculine energy. I like it, Pisces. What do we got here? Aries, the emperor. Entrepreneur energy. Large and in charge. Mr. or Mrs. My way or the highway. Looks like they could be changing their mind. Let's see what's going on here with the old possible stubborn one, huh? Pisces. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Heartbeat of the Celtic Cross. I got an empress right there. I got it. Oh, 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 looks like we've got an emperor and an empress story going on here. Now, the problem with the emperor and the empress is that well, both of them got it going on. They really don't need each other. <laughs> That's a problem. Pisces, you got the empress in the heartbeat of your Celtic cross. That's Venus incarnate for me in the earth. It's love in the earth. It's also abundance. Abundance, love, the Empress, <laughs> right after the Emperor, in the heartbeat of your Celtic cross right here, Pisces. Let's go. Let's see what's crossing. Let's see what's crossing over top of my Empress. What we got? What we got, Pisces? Here we go. Eight swords. So you know, that's somebody that's been all up in their head. Feeling stuck like Chuck in their brain. They need a jailbreak. <laughs> you know, I don't think it's the, I, I don't think it's the Empress. It's probably that Emperor right over there. Cause I saw the little pages of swords, keeping an eye on the Empress right over here, more than likely. But somebody, somebody needs a jailbreak from the mind. You know, that's eight swords, right? Swords are all about the mind and the thought process and all that. It's about somebody getting free from the jailhouse right here. Hopefully, huh? Because they're not really trapped. You know, it could be that old emperor over there thinking they're trapped wherever they're at or whatever. But they're not really trapped with this card ever. They could get out of there anytime they want. They could back up on one of those swords, cut those loose binds off. Get back up to that high vibration castle up there. I see it. Probably where the Empress is at. Eight swords. Empress. Emperor on the bottom of the deck. Here we go. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. What do we got? Oh, that's judgment. What do we got right here? Base of the spread. Five pinnacles. <laughs> Let me put that over here. Five pinnacles. Right? That's somebody that uh, feel left out in the cold. For me, these are my two soulmates right here. They come play with each other incarnation after incarnation. We do got the Emperor and the Empress here. Like I said, it can be challenging for them two to play with each other because they both got it going on. Let's remember that, right? But somebody misses, somebody misses, somebody misses their Empress. <laughs> yeah. Five, five pinnacles right there, you know. These soulmates right here with five pinnacles. When one feels it, the other one feels it. Just saying. Somebody misses my Pisces. Somebody's all up in their head. Somebody needs a jailbreak. Probably that emperor I saw right there. What do we got? What do we got? All three pinnacles. Wow, you know that's not a that's not a surprising card for me with the emperor right there because the emperor, you know, it's entrepreneur energy. So is the empress. This is about you know working on a foundation of something that's important to you with them. It may involve the coin, right? It's three pentacles. Are you already talking to him, Pisces? <laughs> Are you already beginning to build? If not, it's soon. They missed you for a long time right here. Whatever that's about. Possibly they've made a jailbreak right here with three pinnacles or attempting to. The only problem with that three pinnacles right there, you know, there's 
There's too many people in this doggone card right here. I don't know. It's about building the foundation for somebody. It's important to you. Here we go, crowning the spread. Love. Pisces. Oh, oh, oh. The Knight of Pentacles insisted on jumping out here. <laughs> hey. You know, there's a lot of pinnacles, five pinnacles. Now, five fives talk about change because of the contrast. Somebody's figuring out what they want because they're realizing what they don't want. <laughs> this guy right here, I like this guy, slow moving energy. And like I said, a lot of earth here, right? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is about a stable opera. One step at a time. Could be the Empress wanting to go slow. Could be the Emperor. I, I, like I said, these both got it going on. They don't need each other. <laughs> but when they're not around each other, they miss each other. And they want to play with each other in the way that the Emperor and the Empress play. Right there. Stacking them up. So I got some kind of opera coming in here. I, I don't mind, I don't mind the Knight of Pentacles. He's slow, but he's the only one that ever crosses the finish line. Maybe these two right here are gonna get to the old finish line. What's that? You know, dancing around the maypole. I don't know. This is steady movement. Golden coins, Emperor Empress. Somebody made a jailbreak. <laughs> Somebody's getting out their head. Woo! Near future. What do we got? Pisces. Judgment. Wow, what a read. Judgment. Making a judgment call. You just Gabriel, the archangel, flying around, blowing the horn. The horn of the awakening. Wow. It's like somebody had a jailbreak of the mind with some kind of an awakening, a spiritual awakening about who they're supposed to be playing with. It is a judgment. It's Pisces judgment call. Other lovers coming up out of the grave or not. <laughs> Tis the season. That's why old Ramblin spent a long time a couple of months ago talking about all these retrogrades going on right now. Five major planets all turned around backwards. Oh, they're all going to go direct in August. Oh, August. October. They're going in direct in October. It's August right now. The end of it. I like it. The Emperor and the Empress. The uh, Judgment card. The Knight of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Kinda looks good to Mike. <laughs> Here we go. What do we got? Near future judgment. Proper judgment call brings Phoenix from the ashes. We all know it's about second chance, third chance, all that. Anyway, it's about making a judgment. What do we got? How's Pisces seeing themselves these days? The Emperor pushed right in here. When I was asking how Pisces sees themselves right now. The Emperor wanted to make another appearance in the tarot read right here. But this is large and in charge. You know, I mean, this is grounded, balanced, stable, entrepreneur energy. <laughs> you know, but I do see the Emperor, you know, if this is how Pisces is feeling right now, you know been through the battle and got the armor on and you know looking at a whole new world right there and really you know the sun hasn't been shining all that bright it would be nice if the sun's shining bright but it's fun that the emperor showed back up in your spread one more time it says to me that you're solid and you're good where you're at like i said the emperor and the empress can't be like that they are good where they are at regardless if they're with somebody or not Showing up with the strength of the emperor right here. What is going on, Pisces? Here we go. Exterior influence. With the eight swords and the empress. 
Oak. What do we got? Oak. Insists on coming out. Eight cups. Uh oh. Yeah. You know, that's because somebody was all up in their head, eight swords, because they probably walked away from my empress right over here at one particular point in time and went over to the land of swords over there, is what I'm seeing. I got a whole bunch of swords stuck in their back and stuck all around them and all that and got stuck. Yeah, that's, that's got to be, yeah, right there. That's why it's Pisces Judgment Call. The Emperor and the Empress, somebody made a mistake. Wow, bottom of the deck, the lovers. Gemini energy showing up right here. Another major arcana. There's three right there. Well, it appears to me that somebody has let something go. We'll see, there's more cards coming, right? Because that's a solid offer right there, that page, or that, or that knight of Pentacles. Because the lovers is right here, and that's about a choice. It's definitely a strong soulmate connection. Lover's card, Emperor, Empress, Judgment. Whoo! Separation. Hangman. Dark Knight of the Soul. I'm sure that's for, you know, the old Emperor over here. The one that walked, the one that did the eight cups, you know. Going to see if the grass is green or elsewhere. That kind of thing, right? But that's about somebody getting a new perspective about Pisces. And if you've been in dark night of soul about this journey right here, look at this source coming in with light right here, blasting Hangman out the Hangman Street. Let's play with the Witch's Tarot for a minute right here on this amazing spread about an emperor and an empress. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. I have one more card to pull out with the Tarot Illuminati right here. Oh, I got a couple. Boy, I'm just ahead of myself. Here we go. Hope or fear. What do we got? Ten cup. Yeah, baby. We're going to dream, dream big, right? That's the happy ever after. Once upon a time, Mike's going to do it. There was the emperor and the empress, and they lived happily ever after. It's right here in the hopes position. Wow. Glad I picked that deck back up. Weather overall, please. Weather overall, love team. Nine cups. Bells ringing. <laughs> Wish fulfillment. People, it looks like the Emperor and the Empress are both rubbing the genie bottle right now, making a wish. Making a wish. <laughs> and here it comes, the lover. Hi, Pisces. <laughs> Here's my cup. Oh, Lord, help us all. Yeah, this is the one that makes the heart go boom, daddy, boom, daddy, boom, 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 right here, Pisces. The lover, oh, what a love story right here. It appears to me, Pisces, that, you know, everybody wants to be happy, huh? <laughs> and it appears to me that the lover wants to come in and make a stable offer. Now I'm going to play with the witch's tarot. Maybe I'll get to it. I got a wheel of fortune, winner, winner, chicken dinner trying to happen around here. This cycle ain't over yet. <laughs> wheel of fortune, Sagittarius, Jupiter energy, expansion and good luck. It just keeps on, Pisces. I got a world card right there. Can't ignore it. It's a major arcana about old cycles ending and new cycles beginning. It's about Pisces seeing yourself as this golden angelic being, seeing the world as your oyster. And why well, am yeah, I going to say it? Ooh la la, here comes your pearl of great prize. Wheel of Fortune and the world. After 10 cups, 9 cups, the Emperor and the Empress. Frickin' devils in reverse, somebody got free from a devil. Eight swords. <laughs> they wanna play with Pisces. 
They're thinking about business too. Mike's reading cards right. They're thinking about a whole kid and caboodle. Wow, a princess of cups. I know. It's a love offer. Fragile. Maybe an apology. I don't know. I ain't apologizing for him. That's up to them. Now let's play with the witch's tarot. Just a little bit. See what it has to say right here. Add a little more flavor to this. Uh, beautiful, beautiful love story right here. About an emperor and an empress. You know they don't need each other, but... <laughs> well, I just picked a deck up and I got to show you it's a star great hope great faith potential of your dreams to become reality stars always in the future a little bit Aquarius showed up here may mean something to you may not Pisces Pisces give me Oh, look, it's a jailbreak. I was going to say, give me something on the Empress and eight swords. It's six swords, right? That's the jailbreak. That's uh, movement, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, coming out of those challenging times. Right? It's right here. It looks to me like they're heading towards the Empress. <laughs> it's all right here. Don't you love the tarot? All right, six swords. Somebody wants to come out of the choppy waters right there. I should throw something on judgment. <laughs> but I'm gonna throw something on nine cups. Bells ringing around here. Bells ringing between the emperor and the empress. Here we go, what do we got? Freaking sun, the sun, the sun. The sun, the sun has come out twice here. You know, that's a yes card and all that. Haven't we had the sun before? Didn't it show up on the bottom or something? I don't know. I definitely have it now. <laughs> the sun came out on nine cups. Yes, you can have your wish fulfillment. Yes, give me some on judgment. Come on. Five pinnacles. They really miss you. <laughs> oh my God. It was best for you. Oh, hey man, again. These cards are, these cards are cycling back through. It's about two of my people. Getting a new perspective. Looks really good, huh? The majors here are the wheel of fortune, the world card, the sun card, the star card showed up, the emperor, the empress, <laughs> and three pentacles. It may have already started to build. I like it. Love cards. That's what we need, Mike. Love cards, Pisces. What do we got? flirt <laughs> I think somebody's coming in here to flirt with you actually I think they're both gonna be flirting with each other right it's a it's the it's the night of Pentacles it's one step at a time one day at a time flirting this is amazing I love it for you Pisces all right separations here or the ending of it what do we got? Love. <laughs> Forgiving and learning. Oh, shit. <laughs> have, have we got to that, Mike? <laughs> yeah. Is what it is. Forgiveness is for you. All that. Loving on yourself. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. You experience more love in the present here we go here we go one more oh passion Ooh la la 
Well, well the, you know, if, if the emperor and the empress have anything in common, in my opinion, it is passion. <laughs> and entrepreneurship with each other. Well, yeah. Passion. Pisces. Love. <laughs> oh, 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 there's a wedding. And this says that this situation involves a marriage. And, and you know, there's enough here to say that somebody could have left a karmic left a marriage left the life lessons that they needed to learn I like everything I see right here they want the wheel to spin now two major here for my Pisces lovers here we go man the Emperor and the Empress back in Pisces world back in Pisces stories playing what we got Another major arcana, the strength card, Leo in this in this story now. Strength card is about, you know, taming the loins. <laughs> I'm gonna put it right there on that passion card. Cause you know it's the old lust card too, right? That's fiery energy between these two, man. Ooh. <laughs> Strength card on top of passion. <laughs> oh, oh. And the lovers right there, Pisces. Only two of them right here. If there was three, we're down to two. <laughs> the lovers. Pisces, I love this reading for you. And I love you. Hope you have an amazing day. Namaste. Love and life. Talk to you soon, Pisces. Bye for now.